Recent reports show that over 59% of all software engineering job openings are back-end focus. And it's not just about startups. Fang companies, of course, also are expanding their back infrastructure aggressively. Google's acceptance rate, about 0.2% of applicants. Meta and Amazon, about 1% to 2%. The opportunity is massive, so is the competition. These interviews are not just casual chats. Random lead code practice solving those questions that you found online is enough. I've talked to this with a lot of engineers, but it covers four main pillars. What separates successful candidates this is a serious session for serious engineers. Hi, my name is Anthony Hartman. I've been a software engineer for going on six years now. Over that time, I've seen the software engineering landscape evolve considerably. I have worked at such household names as DoorDash through a number of startups, including one for qualitative market research and one for a burgeoning social media brand, and have found my way into my current role as an engineer at a company called LaunchDarkly, where I work on ingesting metrics as well as experimentation and feature flagging. Now, today I wanted to just talk to you engineer to engineer about what it takes to break into top tech companies. If you're here watching this, I can tell that you're someone who cares about your career and you care about really finding that dream job that you want. So let's take a couple of minutes and unpack what's really happening in the market right now, what companies are looking for, and what you need to do to position yourself to win. Now, first, some perspective. Right now, one of the most in-demand skill sets in tech is backend engineering. Recent reports show that over 59% of all software engineering job openings are backend focus, far outstripping the demand for front-end or full-stack roles. Companies across industries, whether it's e-commerce, AI, fintech, streaming, or SaaS, are scaling massive systems, and at the core of it is you as a backend engineer. And it's not just about startups. Fang companies, of course, also are expanding their back infrastructure aggressively, power everything from personalized recommendations to real-time AI systems. If you have experience in designing distributed systems, optimizing databases, and ensuring system reliability, you're needed. And the industry is creating a huge wave of opportunity for these kinds of specialists. Now, while the opportunity is great, you of course need to be able to succeed in getting that job. And the issue is that while the opportunity is massive, so is the competition. It's not just about skills anymore. Even getting an interview call at a fan company is hard. In today's hiring landscapes, referrals dominate the pipeline. Cold applications without that kind of strong profile or that kind of introduction will often just get ignored. And even strong candidates can end up in the resume black hole. As someone who's conducted a lot of these interviews, I can know that even if you are a great engineer, it's easy to go into this interview and not perform as you may like to. Even if you do get the interview, your odds of actual acceptance remain steep. Here's some numbers. Google's acceptance rate, about 0.2% of applicants. Meta and Amazon, about 1% to 2%. And across all FANG companies, uh, less than 2% of applicants get an offer. These interviews are not just casual chats. There are a lot of hoops you have to jump through before companies are willing to give you that coveted offer. And that means that you have to find yourself in a position to demonstrate deep thinking, to be able to demonstrate your ability to solve complex problems, and you need to be able to communicate under pressure. Post-2023, the hiring bar has gone even higher. Companies today are leaner, choosier, and looking for engineers who can contribute from day one. And that's why actual structured preparation is something you need to take on. Random lead code practice solving those questions that you found online is enough. And winging it based on your experience, even if your experience is great, isn't enough either. What separates successful candidates is a disciplined, focused, and end-to-end -end preparation strategy. I've talked to this with a lot of engineers, but it covers four main pillars. One, you have to master your algorithms and data structures. Not just solving lead code questions, but actually knowing why those solutions work and being able to iterate on them, change them and tweak them on the fly in an interview setting. Doing system design excellently. Being able to replicate those real life interview conditions, to be able to think about how you might design a system from the ground up and knowing the fundamentals of why a system would be built that way. Mock interviewing under pressure allows you to ensure that when you actually get into that real interview setting, you're not struck with the fact that you now have to talk and solve problems at the same time. You've already been doing that. And of course, you also need to prepare for behavioral interviews. With behavioral interviews, you're of course going to have to know all of your experience, not just in a way that you know you can convey, but in a way that'll impress the interviewer and really show off all of the amazing things that you've done. At Interview Kickstart, we've built our backend engineering program around these realities. 16 weeks or more of structured learning, a weekly rigor that mirrors actual interview pacing, 600 plus FANG instructors leading the training, 15 plus mock interviews included as part of the process, and personalized feedback so that you can identify and fix your blind spots fast. And importantly, we help you build a standup profile. We'll work with you to develop resume improvements, to position your LinkedIn, and we can provide you support for getting referrals to any companies that you might want to work in. 
We understand getting noticed is the first battle and we're here to help you with that. Now, there's another trend that no backend engineer can afford to ignore, which is the AI shift. Today, backend systems are tightly integrated with machine learning models. You need to become a machine learning aware engineer. And beyond system designs, AI tools are of course changing how we code and debug too. GitHub Codepilot, code generation tools, in my personal experience, IDEs like Cursor, uh, these are already mainstream. And as an engineer, you have to embrace them. That's why in our webinar, we'll also touch on how to smartly incorporate AI awareness into your preparation without feeling overwhelmed. So here's the big picture. The demand for backend engineers is huge, the opportunity is real, and the preparation is serious. And for those who need to take action, those are the people who are going to win. Now, in our backend engineering interview masterclass, we'll cover how top companies design backend interviews, what that structured prep looks like, how to build technical depth and stand out as a candidate, and how to improve your chances of getting real interview calls. Plus, we'll have a live Q&A where you can ask your questions directly. This is a serious session for serious engineers who wanna take control of their careers, and I would love for you to be a part of it. So if you're ready to aim higher, I will see you at the webinar. Thank you.